welcome back to my channel. So basically, you're wondering what's going on. This is part three. Part one I filmed a long, long time ago. I decided to do part two. Part two was getting really long. I basically filled up one whole garbage bag of makeup product boxes that I've ordered this year. And so since I didn't want you guys to sit around for hours watching me go through boxes, empty boxes of makeup, I decided to split it into two parts. So this is part three, and I'm gonna go on. I still have this half a bin. This is my bin that I keep all my boxes in, so I'm so excited for this to be pretty much empty to start off 2019. Here is a fresh bag. So let me just get that open and get started. So we have one of the Ace Beauté Classic Paradise. I have not reviewed those for you yet, but they're coming. I just don't need the boxes. Norvina palette, probably one of my favorite Anastasia releases of 2018. We have some Suva packaging. I got rid of these palettes because I came to a point where I knew I was never gonna feature them on my channel. This is the uh, Editorial Black Brights palette by Viseart. It's actually a really beautiful, colorful eyeshadow palette if you guys ever wanna pick it up. Soft Glam packaging, another one of my favorite Anastasia releases of 2018. Summer Vibes palette by Gimme Glow. Nice palette as well. I'm really enjoying Give Me Glow. Pat McGrath palette. God, I almost took like a chunk of my hair out. Love this, keeping that packaging. This is um, the little bag that you get the Storybook Cosmetics box palettes in. I am going to save that. I still have not featured that palette on my channel, but it's coming in 2019. This is my favorite face wash. I actually noticed a difference in my skin when I stopped using this. This is a kale. Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanse from Youth of the People. Totally recommend that for you guys in case you're looking for a good face wash. Divinity Palette by Strobe. I need to give this more love, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna find its way into my Poshmark soon. Another Pat McGrath box. This tower is gonna come crumbling down. This is the sleeve to my Sugar Pill Palette. I have not reviewed this palette on my channel as well. This one is not a favorite. Really wish I hadn't paid that money. This is the Tatcha Valetsi Radiance Mask for brightening. I actually pretty much like this mask. I don't think it's worth the price tag, but I was feeling bougie during the VIB sale, so I bought it. Let me see if there's anything in here that I want to hold on to. Oh, I just dropped the spoon. I need to keep the spoon. This is really cute too. Maybe I'll use that for something. My Little Pony stickers. This is my favorite Kevin Aquan blush ever. I mean, just one of my favorite blushes in gener general. This is the Neo blush in the shade Sunset. You guys know how much I love this guy. Talked about it in many videos. I don't know if you guys saw this, but I did pick this up during one of the VIB sales this year. This is the Shower Cap Reinvented by the brand Shower Cap. This is probably one of the most overpriced shower caps I've ever owned. But it's still growing strong and it just does the job. I was actually considering picking up another one, but I'm going to wait. I'll probably buy one next year, like 2019. It says, this shower cap is not the same one that your Aunt Dorothy used or your grandma or, or the woman in apartment 4B who always wore bunny slippers because this is not just a shower cap. It's a shower cap. <laughs> I would recommend buying this, but if you have extra money, go for it. Lemonade Palette by Dominique Cosmetics. I really like that one. That one got a lot of, I have to bend, because now I'm at the bottom. Um, that, that one got a lot of slack in 2018, but I got a, a, a replacement palette and that one was good. This is the Eye Cream by Sunday Riley. I have not really seen any amazing results with this guy, so I would not recommend buying that. The Soul and Mar palettes from ColourPop. They were okay. They're definitely going on my Poshmark soon. This is the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. I actually really like this. I will definitely replenish this in my shower because I use it as my nighttime cleanser. This is the Catalan D Liquid Lipstick Set. This was from last holiday, so 2017. I really like her liquid lipsticks. I know a lot of people are upset with her right now, but obviously I'm not gonna throw away something that's already in my collection. This is the Flamingo Eyeshadow Palette by Violet Boss. This is probably one of the most botched palettes of 2018. 
Such a cute concept, but the formula was very inconsistent in my opinion. And I know Violet Loss can do better than this, so this is definitely going again on my Poshmark. The NARS Borde Plage Highlight and Bronzing Palette. This came out in 2017 as well. I must have held on to it just in case I was thinking of returning it, but I am keeping that. This is a 2018 foundation. This is a Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is pretty affordable for Dior. I love the packaging. It's a little squeezy bottle and it's decent coverage as well. This is a little too dark for me in the winter time, but I'm excited to use it in the summer. This is the Elizabeth and James French Grey perfume. I also like their bourbon. I don't like any of the other scents, but French Grey is pretty good too. And I bought a huge bottle during one of the Ulta 20% off coupon sales. This is the Herbivore Jade Facial Roller. I picked this up during one of their sales. You definitely don't need to pay full price on one of these. They sell so many dupes on Amazon. So consider checking this out. Another Ace Beauté. This is the Paradise Fallen palette box. More of the pixie stuff. This palette has not also made an appearance on my channel, but it will. This is Into the Sun palette by Glowed Up Cosmetics. I don't even know if they're still around, but that palette is beautiful, and someday it'll be on my channel. This is the Perception palette by Colourpop X Shayla. I think this is a great palette by Colourpop, so I'm keeping it and I'm getting rid of the box. A Freak palette, definitely not one of my favorites by Juvia's Place. This one is going on Poshmark soon. This is a skincare set I picked up from Drunk Elephant just to try out the brand. I kind of like this packaging, so I'm contemplating keeping it to use it for storage. And I think that's what I'm going to do with it. So I'm going to leave it here on my pile. We got my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation Box in the shade four, uh, 340 Baklava. This is my... Summer shade, I think? Can't remember. Good Sport by ColourPop, my favorite ColourPop palette of 2018. This is a Pat McGrath. What is in here? Is there an eyeliner in here? I bet there is. Oh, no, it's a pencil sharpener. This is a Pat McGrath eye pencil in the shade Blitz Blue. I love her eye pencils. House of Lashes by Sephora. This was a little set that I picked up just to store my lashes in. It came with a little storage and two little lash adhesives and a set of lashes as well. So super duper cute. Don't need the box. We have the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Love this guy. All Nighter Powder. Don't love that. Tatcha Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen. I like this a lot. I use it in the summertime. I should use it in the winter as well, but it's expensive and ain't nobody got money for that. I bought the Sunday Riley UFO oil because I'm obsessed with Sunday Riley. This is pretty good. This is for oily to acne prone skin with 1.5 salicylic acid treatment. So it's not an essential for me, but I like having it on hand when I feel like my skin is breaking out and stuff. I use this. Bite Beauty Dirty Chai. This is one of the lip glosses. I bought this because there was so much hype on these glosses. Definitely don't think I should have bought that. Dose of Colors X I Love Sir E. I love this palette. It's gorgeous. This is my box for the Malika palette, which I'm going to toss. A box for the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette when I was going through my concealer phase. This is the Velvetizer. I don't really love this that much. I bought this because of Andrea Matigliano. She was talking tons about this powder and I was so curious so I bought it but mm, it's okay. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. This is amazing. This is the cover for the Sigma collection that Angelica did. Stila Kitten Karma Glisten and Glow. Don't need that. Ace Beauté Blossom Parrot Passion from the Paradise Collection. Zodiac palette, I've already decluttered. The Kathleen Lights collab with ColourPop. This is the KKW X Mario palette. I need to use that more as well on my channel. This is a Milk Makeup Eyeliner. This one's actually really good. It's the one Mel Thompson talked a ton about in her channel in November of 2018. Here's another NARS palette. This is the Atomic Blonde. I basically bought this for the bronzer because it looks stunning. Okay, what else do we have here? This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish in 
Oh Darling from MAC. So this is my Huda in Gingerbread 430 and this is actually my summer shade. Baklava is my winter shade. It's actually the shade I'm wearing today. Don't know why I'm so confused. Okay, we're on the very bottom. I'm so excited. What is this? Oh, this is a set of MAC Fix Plus that came out last holiday. Totally realized these are a scam because you could just buy the bigger bottles and decant them into smaller spray bottles. So don't buy those unless you get them on sale. Belief Eye Cream Moisturizing Eye Balm. I actually really like this. It's really good value for money and it's very hydrating under your eyes. So I would recommend Block Party by Suva Beauty. I totally bought this because I love the Suva brand so much. I don't love their eyeshadow formula. So again, this one will probably end up on my Poshmark. This is the Foot Cream by Sol de Janeiro. Bought it because I love the smell. Is this the best foot hydrating foam? Hydrator on the planet definitely not so won't be repurchasing that wow We're getting close guys. Okay, here's two more eyeshadow palettes. This is the uh, Slice of paradise and the box for the paleo palette from clean on tossing those This is the Becca hydrate mist Set and refresh powder this powder is a scam don't buy it Fortune palette box from Colourpop. This one's probably going to end up on my Poshmark soon as well. More Huda covers. Okay, here is a NARS palette I bought last year. This is the Veil Cheek palette. Super cute palette. Love the blush in there. We got another Ordinary product. This is the Coverage Foundation, High Coverage foundation in 30Y in case you're wondering what my shade is. I have some Suva here. We've got their, what are these called? Hydra liners. This is the shade Gold Digger. I have not used these yet. I have a ton of them. This is a Pat McGrath lipstick in the shade Luster Trance Beautiful Creature. Super pretty. I think I got that on sale. So I got like three of them on sale. Then we have a Dose X I Love Sarah E. This is the shade Aesthetic, beautiful nude shade. Love that. The Tatcha Pearl, this is another really nice under light and eye cream. Gorgeous. Urban Decay and John michelle Basquiat, this is the shade Epigram. I love this nude as well. We have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun. I love wearing this. We have Sugar Fresh Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm. This is so yummy. I use it every night. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is the Sydney Grace. It's another empty box. Another Huda sleeve. And the ABH X Amorizi highlight. This is the highlight I have on today. Super gorgeous. Don't need to keep the box. Yeah, here is my basket. It is now empty. I should probably get rid of the price tag because I bought this and I wasn't sure if I was going to like actually fill it. And boy oh boy did I fill it up. So it's going to be a permanent fixture in my beauty room where I collect makeup packaging in case I want to return it and stuff. So I'm going to put back the stuff I'm keeping which is mostly just the Pat McGrath stuff. And Jeffree Star. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so the last few things. This is Overdrive by Urban Decay. It's my favorite green eyeliner pencil. This is an old MAC Charlotte Olympia collab lippy. I don't even know where the lippy is. This is the Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer from Becca. This is actually really good. Mel Thompson recommended this in one of our Sephora sale videos, and I'm so happy I picked that up. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, Concealer in the shade Medium. These are these were so hyped when they first came out. I don't hear as many people talking about them now. They did go on sale. I think they're still on sale. I still like the formula, so I bought a few backups. This is Rose Gold in the Suva Hydra Liner, Stila Molten Midnight, another liquid eyeshadow, and then we have Grease by Suva. And that was it, guys. Yeah, I filmed this in two parts. You guys will have to go and watch the other part as well. I just want to show you guys. 
Like, here's how much I have hoarded. I have two giant garbage bags full of makeup boxes. Empty makeup. If Georgia Harris was doing another project featuring empty makeup boxes, I'd be happy to send these to her. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my packaging hoarding video and thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I will see you guys soon. Bye!